and good afternoon Retro Commanders, or Retro Wing Commanders should I say, and welcome back to the Retro Stream. It is 1pm on Saturday, it's time to play some games from years of yore. <laughs> um, always good fun, always good fun. So um, uh, welcome welcome to the stream everybody. Um, who we got here? We've got Commander Tragic Blue, 07 Wing Commander, Ancilius Wintermute, Mad Monk Soft and Commander Terracoff are already here, desperate for more Wing Commander. <laughs> More low resolution graphics, dodgy sound effects, and very, very 80s dialogue. <laughs> so, with no further ado, let me get the um, let me get this stream right now. Hang on a minute, my DOS box has gone funny. I can see it's all it's it's a complete mess all across my screen. What's happened? Um, I think I've got to uh, Alt Enter. Is that right? There we go. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Yay. There we go. Uh, <laughs> it's all very smooth, as you know. Um, Right. So, um, uh, for those of you who don't know what this actually is, this is this is DOS in text mode, which I, I can't remember how many characters across it is. Is it like 80 by 25 or something like that? I, I think it's 80 by 25. I used to know. I used to program in DOS actually years and it was my first job. <laughs> Unlike C3PO, whose uh, whose first job was programming binary load lifters, my first job was programming in um, DBase 3 plus on DOS. She's showing my age, um, which was always all good stuff. I, I enjoyed it. You know, computers were simple back in those days. Um, and you just fired things up and started programming. You didn't have any complicated stuff to manage. It was it was, it was was good. Back in the good old days, basically. Back in the good old days. Right, let's get this going then. So here we go. Um, D-Base was quite convenient. I like D-Base. Um, I thought, I mean, D-Base 4 was slightly overly complicated, um, I thought. Um, DBase 3 Plus, I really liked, and there was a there was a program called Clipper, as I recall, that allowed you to compile your database code, such as it was, um, uh, into into an executable, and you could get really posh and distribute things to to people. That that was very cool. Um, um, Commander Terakov used to be a black belt ninja in MS DOS batch files. Oh yeah, they were good fun. <laughs> the pain and the agony of trying to get certain things to work in MS DOS. Fortunately, DOSBox does most of this stuff for you. Uh, which, which is which is good to hear. Look at that! Look at that amazing intro. 1990. <laughs> the, uh, don't want to alarm anybody, but that is 31 years ago. <laughs> 31 years. Um, and this still looks kind of slightly modern to me. <laughs> That's my youthful eyes. Um, I was 20, just a mere 20 when this game came out. Um, so it shows you how long it's been around. Uh, Winter Mute DOS. I use CPM. Oh, yeah, I didn't use CPM all that much. I did use, I did use it a little bit. Um, I also programmed on the Gem desktop. Who remembers Gem on top of? I think the Ataris use Gem. Um, all that kind of stuff. But um, I can't remember now. <laughs> it's all beginning to fade away. Uh, <laughs> it's too long ago. Um, anyway, right. Uh, <laughs> We're now travelling through space. I like the, I must admit, I like the way this game introduces us almost if it's a movie. Um, yeah, with all the, all the credits kind of up front. Um, Commander Terakov designed, built my own Z80 second processor for my baby CB imported. Oh, yeah, see, that's that's just proper skills, is it? <laughs> I couldn't do that. Um, were you really a program? One of my program teachers, there were two types of programmers programmers and hackers. A programmer would start on a piece of paper, and hackers would start programs straight on the computer. Yeah, I was, by that definition, I was definitely a hacker. And they, yeah, type to faff about with bits of paper. <laughs> That's a very, very old school way of doing it. it was Gem, Gem Graphical Environment Manager? It's something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. I was an OS2 fan, but I remember OS2. Yeah, and um, yeah, OS2 was good, actually. Um, and it was it was good for the time and reliable. It had a proper preemptive multitasking operating system long before Windows managed it. Um, so yeah, good stuff. Most programmers are hackers. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Right. Um, so let's continue the campaign then. Let's see, see what happens next. Um, I can't remember where we left last week's episode. I know there was the business with the squirrels and the nuts. That was quite funny. So, <laughs> awaken the squirrel. Uh, they still haven't fixed the leak on the spaceship. Um, unsurprisingly, I don't think they're ever going to fix that. It'd be interesting to know if it's still there in Wing Commander 2. Right, so a squirrel has been awoken, so I presume... Let's just have a look. We did, we did talk to Iceman at night. Let's just go back to the barkeep, because he can probably reorient us as to what the heck was going on. Hey, you squirrel. You know, a couple of boys from Tactical were in here earlier. Yeah. 
They were saying it was getting ugly on the planet Brim... Oh, yeah, we're in the Brimstone system. That's right. Um, Karate bases plants are starting to get desperate. Okay. So, yeah, it was heating up, wasn't it? It looks like the furballs are ready to try just about anything. Okay. Um, what the fellow said, it will come down to supplies. Excellent. Let's 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 discover yeah, because we haven't destroyed much yet. If they can get enough supply ships passes to the planet, they're based on Brimstone, we might throw off our blockade. Yep, yeah, okay. So we presume we got to in guessing that's we'll be talking about some supply ships, won't we? And actually uh, attacking some stuff, because we've been doing lots of kind of reconnaissance and defend the thing missions, which is uh, everybody hates. <laughs> Particularly the defend the thing mission. Uh, the escort missions. Everybody hates escort missions because, you know, all you can do is break even. <laughs> and the worst you can do always is lose completely. Um, however, uh, Major... I got com I got promoted last week, so I'm now Major Wager. Um, I mean, I'm not quite at the giddy heights of Celestial Warrior yet, as I was in Frontier. But um, Major Wager, who has now flown 10 sorties and killed 45 Karathi, which is pretty darn good. Um, so at that rate, in a couple of weeks, I'm hoping to be on the top of this board. <laughs> <laughs> in chalk unless it's maybe a, like a super high-tech pretending to be chalkboard uh, but it doesn't look like it to me because it's kind of got a wooden what looks like a wooden frame I don't know what, I don't know what these um, things in the corner are they cobwebs or is that just <laughs> are there spiders on the ship because <laughs> that definitely looks like three pieces of chalk and a chalkboard eraser to me uh, I would make it to Overlord of the Galaxy eventually. Well, that's, that is obviously the ultimate objective. Um, I don't know if there's any game... Well, I suppose in Stellaris you can sort of become Overlord of the entire galaxy, can't you? Um, are there any games that allow you to do things like that? Right, anyway, so here we go. So that's... We don't want to go there. That's the exit to DOS button. <laughs> Just probably that's a bit like being floated out into space. Um, and into here is the mission hangar. So let's find out what they've got lined up for us this week. Mission briefing in the Brimstone system. Here we go. Um... Two, two, right, as you know, people, several warships have arrived. Yes, warships. Excellent. Most of these have headed to besiege Kalrathi bases, right? Uh, under this blockade, the planet is desperate for munitions and supplies. Makes sense. The Empire, the Empire, dispatched dozens of Dorkir sports, transports. Hoping at least a few of them will get past us and into. Oh, so the Kilrathi Empire, right? Okay. Um, our mission is to make sure they don't get there, right? So we've got to destroy some stuff. Excellent. Screw. <laughs> Scribble, you're a maniac of first up. Computer display row. Okay. The large... <laughs> large pokey. <laughs> That's the way for laugh. Tactical is pretty sure it's one of those inbound orca. Right, okay. Uh, we've detected at least four small... <laughs> <laughs> but hey, so watch out for fairly strong fighter escort. Okay. <laughs> Colonel quickly assigns the rest of the wings. Sending them to intercept other transports headed for Brimstone. Every transport that gets past us drags the siege out another week. Okay. So look sharp and don't let your target get past you. Squadron dismissed. Right, okay then. <laughs> On No Man's Sky when you sign in as over, so you get the title over. Actually, yes, I did notice that. Um, we don't want you going nuts. I used to work with a company that had a health and safety officer, and I think we promoted the health and safety manager. And there wasn't anybody to manage. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Right. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I forgot the keys. Right. It's my joystick working. Right, okay, yeah, okay. I've got, I've got my got my keys. <laughs> Good. Um, does a load out of clean tissue? I mean, there's, there's definitely some big bogeys around, so... <laughs> uh, stop it. You're going you're gonna to bring out the worst in me if you keep taking things like that. Right, so what have we got on board? Um, hang on, let me select missile type. We've got mass javelin heat seekers and dart dumb fires. Okay, so this is only a fighter setup. I haven't got anything to kill a big ship with. Um, okay. Um. <laughs> right, there, there's the <laughs> See, I'm surprised it can say, it, it, they can say things like that. A maniac, right, so break and attack. Okay, right, lock on target. Uh, what was the what was the boost button? I forgot. <laughs> I should have really <laughs> looked at the controls beforehand. Where's the boost? Boost, boost, boost. Where is it? I'm getting shot at now. Oh, my free shield's already gone. I should really be. Oh, what? Well, that was a bit. That was a bit. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Nine minutes into the stream, and I'm already dead. Whatever that was was. That was a bit brutal. Right, hang on. And look, where's the? <laughs> where is the boost? Steer ship, fire afterburner, no. 
Uh, yeah, that's it. Fire off the bird. Where's the bird? Space, no, space bar. Steer ship. Fire off the bird. This is tab. <sighs> right, I'm going to have to reload that again. Um, I wasn't really paying attention while I was looking at the booster button. Trump is I'm playing so many games at the moment. <laughs> Getting what keys are what. Of course, when you're in your spaceship, it's not the best time to be going, where's the boost button again? As I just demonstrated rather well. Um, right, okay. Down the corridor. There we go. They sort of jog in slow motion, don't they? <laughs> I died in the tutorial. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. I, I do vaguely know what I'm doing now, honest. Alright, so that's guns. I've only got the mass driver guns, that's all. Okay, so this is not a this is not a capital killing ship. Um, it's just a fighter, so... Alright, okay, you break an attack, Maniac. I'm gonna get in there as well. ship. See how far we get. Surprisingly, surprisingly strong ship. I'm a bit amused by that. Okay, so there, here we get. How many we got? Okay, let's see how far we get. Because we're now seriously outnumbered. Well, let's get. Welcome to your funeral, ape. That's a very nice thing to say. Is it? What was the fire missile again? Enter, isn't it? Um, let's switch that to. Whoa, don't fly into my ship. Ow. I don't think we're going to make... Here we go. You can tell the game is running a lot of graphics because it's <laughs> slowed down again. This is absolutely heaving with bad guys. Weapon destroyed. This isn't going well, is it? It's really ramped up the difficulty here. Oh, you can't get a missile lock on either. I can't turn them away from you. Boom. No. Not the strong strip just stopped firing. Tests. Okay, so that's twice I've died now. <laughs> okay, this is a tricky mission. Um... feel I haven't been given the right ship. <laughs> just a, just an observation. Let's try this again. Hmm. Because there's no difficulty level either, is there? I don't think there's anything um, 
Yeah, space tea. Space tea will hopefully be along in a bit. Um, that's what I need, space tea. Right, let's try this again. So maybe I'll use some missiles on the early one so I don't get too damaged before that main encounter. Because that main encounter is the is the killer. There's at least four Kyurathi ships there, plus the other one, which I'm assuming I've also got to destroy. Um, let's <laughs> blame the equipment. Yeah, but I've been given a, a really weak ship, to be fair, I think. It doesn't It doesn't have a... It's got some heat... It's, it's a fighter ship. And there's only two of us versus, like... Seven of them. Seems a bit much. Let's try that again. And Maniac is useless. He never kills anything. So, you know, what's the point of having him on board? Um, right, let's see if we can get rid of these guys without getting ripped to pieces. Let's see if I can get on his tail. I want to... Because these turn, see, they turn around really fast. It seems to matter what I do. I can't get on his rear. There we go. Have that. You've got to be a bit quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Did you get him? I don't think the missile even hit. And they're really tough. Missiles are wasted on him, and he's still alive. Ah, oh, I think I got him finally. But even so, that was. Oh. Ah, uh, freaky dooky dude, hello there, Frank Miner 2049 and 2949, oh dear. I'm not doing well at all, this is going very badly. I've died three times already. <laughs> it's like I've barely started. Um, I don't know, the game difficulty seems to have suddenly jumped. Or maybe I'm just, <laughs> maybe it's lack of space tea and old age, I don't know. What do you think? Suggestions are always welcome. <laughs> ah, yep, come on, let's get out there. I know what's facing me. All right, javelins, autopilot. Let's deal with these. These corsairs made it about, and the helmet was written Joker. Okay, so he's he's well, he's not very good, is he? Attack. Ooh, I had a missile lock for a moment there. Yeah, you're not supposed to fight these ones head on, are you? Because they've got like too many guns. Right. Did that missile work? Oh dear. They seem to turn on the sixpence, these Kilrathi ships, they really do. Nah, no! Yes! <laughs> I think I just killed it. Oh, I think I've damaged my ship. Have I damaged my ship? I've lost, I've lost the ability to target things. I don't know how there is. Okay, whatever those top screens were showing, they're no longer working. Unless my repair systems can fix them. Stats. Die, 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 cat scum. I don't want to use all my missiles up. I think I rammed somebody. At least the main scan's working, I can still fight. I don't know how weak their baddies are. God, look how much damage it's taking. It's insane, really. Boom! Yes. <sighs> right, is it? I don't. There's no way to repair, is there? I haven't got a repair button. No. So I think once I'm damaged, I'm damaged, which is a bit annoying. 
Use the force. <laughs> Excellent advice. Thank you for that. I think that's the wrong genre. Uh, not the wrong genre. <laughs> right. Oh, it works for that. The break and attack. Okay. Right, let's see if we can take that these fighters then. Oh, now they're insulting me. It's always nice. I don't mind being insulted by a cat. Oh, it looks like space teaser right, but <laughs> in the, the middle, wrong time, hey? in the middle of a fight. Right, it's, it's coming down here. It is coming <laughs> well, here. Oh, thrust out of range. Of <laughs> the space teaser arrives. Yay! Thank you very much. <laughs> it might help fight better. Yes, it will. Thank you very much, my love. <laughs> I've got space tea, but I can't enjoy it until either I complete the mission or we die a horrible death again. How that thing has got. Ah. Come on, come on. The ape seems to have fangs. Ah, so you fear me now, do you? Excellent. I quite like those personalised insults, they're quite good. Not that I've got time to. Right, have some of that. Go on. These ships are so tough. I just need to clear this out a little bit. If only we could just get rid of some of them, we might stand a chance. Oh, come on. Oh, it's gone so slow. I've lost my rear shields now. <laughs> it's so hard and the frame rate has dropped really badly <laughs> it's almost impossible have a, have a missile come on work 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 oh, I think I hit him but god these guys are strong taking multiple missiles So many of them out there. Normally I'd have killed one easily by now, but I don't know what's. I don't know if I'm out of missile, because I don't know what my missile display is showing. Because it's busted. <laughs> All I know. I think I've lost a gun. Yep. It's not going well. Kilrathy's given up insulting me. I don't see how I'm going to win this fight. Oh, I got one! Finally got one! How many are left? Oh, still three of them. The chances, chances of me winning this. Well, we've got to keep fighting until we, until we go down. We've got one gun. If I keep dodging, they don't seem to be able to land too much fire on me, so maybe we can just wear them down. Is Maniac still out there? I can't even take my eyes off the screen to see. I'm just slowly pummeling this guy to death. Come on, come on. I find another heat seeking missile, which I don't think I do. No, don't hit him, don't hit him. I think, did I, did I get him? I think I did. Two left. Oh. Maybe I can do this. Come on, Drew. Some of the power of the force. Everyone we get down does at least allow us to have less enemy firepower mashing us to pieces. Oh. How you play this? Ah, don't do that. <laughs> they do try and ram you, don't they? That's annoying. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't shoot me. I don't want to be shot at. Don't shoot at me! Shields are almost gone on that side of the ship. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
There's Maniac, he's still flying about. He's not doing anything for me, is he? Just slowly damaging the ship. Come on. Away from me. Just gonna <laughs> keep damaging your ship! <laughs> Let's get out of here, man. What do you mean get out of here? You're just such a coward. I didn't I didn't realise Maniac was a coward. <laughs> We can do this, Maniac. Come on. Oh, we got one. What do you mean, got another? I think you got your first one. Yay! Oh, there's still more. Oh, no. The ship jumped out. Or did he get it? Did we leave it too long? A good player never blames the frame rate. Is that a thing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if the other ship jumped out or not there. What's that? Oh, that's the Dorkin. That's the thing. There, there we go. We've got to destroy this. Okay. So, can I... <laughs> break an attack. Have I got some dumb fires? I can't... Oh, here we go. Mass driver. Dark dumb fires. Yes, I have. Okay, so I should be able to... I've got one mass driver and one dumb dark fire. So let's get in there. My ship thrusters seems to have got no boost either. I think I've lost my boost. I don't know how close I've got to get. Oh, that ship's boosted. Look like. Whoa, it's firing stuff at me. And I've got no boost. I've got no boost. I need boost. I need to have boost. Why haven't I got any boost? Where's the speed? Right, I've got some speed, but I've got, for some reason, either the booster is busted. I don't know. <laughs> Maniac's just being sensible. Uh, right, let's try that. How close do I have to be for dumb fires to work? Stay on my ship. <laughs> Is that, did we do it? I think we did. Except the autopilot's not working. home kids I can actually have a celebratory cup of tea I think four units damage um, yeah squirrel you're clear to land oh, there is a damage generator okay right okay so that's good um, D for damage there we go <laughs> Skin of your teeth, but I think I only just made that. Look at the state of my ship. <laughs> Glad to see you made it back alive, sir. I brought most of the ship back. <laughs> Mission debriefing, right? Come on, Maniac got at least one. Da -da -da. Nicely done, gentlemen. Well, it's such a go, actually. Uh, Tactical believes that Sport was carrying ground to space missiles. Okay. Good thing that we got that. They'd gotten to the planet, our losses would have been devastating. Oh, we done a good thing then. Space tea. It was the space tea, wasn't it? That's what I needed. I needed my space tea to be refreshed. Yeah, I figured it was some sort of missiles, Chief. Old maniac. You should have seen the explosion. It was like a supernova. It was a good explosion, actually. Yep. Well, let's go over the mission report from your flight recorder. Do, 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 do. Recorder credits you with five kills, Squirrel. Nice. Um, what year, says Freaky Dinky Dude. What year um, 
I mean, you've got two games. In, uh, it's, well, 1990 is the game. 2694 or something, I think, for the actual setting. And Squirrel, I want to see you in my offices now. Uh-oh. <laughs> he does like seeing me in his office in a hour, doesn't he? <laughs> Colonel Halcyon's um, office. Where you go? Come in, I need to speak with you. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, sir. Look at my amazing blue hair. Well, believe in Brimstone soon, I need to make some personal changes. Again? <laughs> Makes a lot of personal... Effective immediately, follow the jump, you'll be reassigned. Oh, okay, so what am I going to be in? Purple purple Squadron or something. I need you in Star Slayer Squadron. Excellent. Flying a Raptor class heavy... I like the heavy fighters, actually. They can take a bit more punishment. And they've got more guns. Um... Yes, yeah, sir, so you won't be sorry. I'm so enthusiastic. Yes, there should have been a salute, shouldn't there? Where's the... Absolutely, sir. Right then. Okay. Good, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> okay. Right, there we go. That's all then, Major. Dismissed. Right. Meanwhile... Oh, meanwhile. Cutscene. Outside a Karathi military installation in the Brimstone system. So the cat's like spherical buildings, which sort of makes sense. As Terran starfighters gain control in space at Brimstone, bum, bum, bah, a daring band of human saboteurs strikes a major Kilrathi base. Boom! <laughs> the destruction of this installation, nice. <laughs> the Kilrathi hold on the strategic Brimstone system is broken. I like the way they left the city behind. Apologies if you can hear somebody mowing their lawn behind me as well. I know that's not quite part of the, the game. I like the little cutscenes though. It's not blue hair, it's just brunette with some hair gel. That's really weird, isn't it? Right. Well, that was good. Okay. So, uh, talk to shot glass. Let's see what let's see what the scuttlebutt is. We just jumped into the Dakota system, you know. I didn't know, but basically, an agro colony. They've had an outbreak of Watson's disease. The colonists here are a proud bunch, and they waited to call for help. That's bad news. Watsons can wipe out a whole city in just a few weeks. Ow. There is no cure yet, but the Confederation sporting in the vacuum transport. <laughs> Sport and this this abbreviation of transport to sport is really throwing me. <laughs> um, it's like that's not what you say. Is it? Does, they, does anybody shorten transport to sport? I mean, <laughs> transport I think is easier to say than sport. Um, so <laughs> it doesn't quite make sense. Um, hey squirrel, I feel like griping about wingmen get to join in. <laughs> I don't think you're on very solid ground here, maniac. <laughs> Take Knight for example. He flies like an old lady, no vision. Weird purple eyes, isn't he, Maniac? And he couldn't find a target if his wingman's life depended upon it. It says the coward of the county. <laughs> Which it usually does. Um, yeah, an angel. Angels always studying, planning, just fly, I say. Oh, wow, you see, that's where it's all going wrong, Maniac. Um, anybody on the claw you don't mind flying with squirt? First off, let's watch the squirt cracks. And second, right. Of course, there's a couple of pilots that don't mind flying with. Who's that then? You're not too bad, Hunter. Almost as good as me. <laughs> it's Iceman. Yeah, totally full of love. Ice is scary, man. I mean, I'm in this for the flying. I haven't played with Iceman yet. He's in it for the killing, I think. Ooh, okay. Um, Dakota system sounds exotic. Yeah. One missing in action, two missing in action. Watson's disease are quite... Mad monks off, yeah, that, I was going to make that joke. <laughs> Elementary, of course, indeed. Um, so let's talk to Hunter. Right, come here, mate. Maniac's teaching me how to fly. Can you believe it? <laughs> I, I do sympathise with you, my friend. Someone better. You're dangerous and not just to the Gilrathi. <laughs> I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous. This is from the guy who goes to Afterburn as the instant he smells the target. Yeah, so Maniac is a bit gung ho. Well, at least I'd go after him. Some of you old guys don't always do that. <laughs> I hate to admit it, mate, but you're right about some of the old guys. Well, I must admit, Paladin was rubbish at flying, wasn't he? He hasn't killed anything yet. Knight, Paladin, some of the others, they just. They must just be cat lovers or pacifists. Um, well, Paladin didn't kill anything. <laughs> but don't lump me with that lot, mate. No worries. More kill where a blood I smell, the nastier I get. Ah, uh, there. Oh yeah, the 
just noticed the uh, the um, the bartender done. <laughs> What's he doing? I think he's cleaning the bar. That's what bartenders do, isn't it? Whenever he's yeah, he sort of crouches down. There is a little bit of stuff happening. I suppose that's the thing, is it? From the NPCs. Right. Let's save. Um, let's see. How am I doing? Look, look. I'm still in fourth. Well, I'm not far off Major Chen, which is good. Um, so let's uh, let's save. Let's save Squirrel. Yep. Let's find out what happens next. Check the chalkboard. Yeah. So I'm doing all right. I'm still in fourth. Right. This is the Dakota system. What's going on here? As you may have heard, there's been an outbreak of Watson's disease here. Hopefully not on board the ship. It's spreading across the fourth planet, Fargo, like wildfire. If we don't get a vaccine knife, sm smell an escort mission. We've been ordered to provide primary cover for medical transports. Oh, great. Your job will be to cover the Draymans as they come and go. Oh, great. Gamma Wing will consist of Squirrel and Knight. I'm counting on you two to come through, as always. And there, and so are the colonists down on Fargo. Okay, so it's an escort. It's a protect the target mission. Ah, uh, dear. You will proceed first to Nav 1, escorting an outbound hospital ship. Right. Your objective is to protect her from the Kilrathi until she makes her jump out. Okay. Everybody's favourite. Once she's gone, go to Nav 2, where you'll rendezvous with another sport. Bring this Drayman back to the Tiger's Claw in one piece. Oh, a double escort mission. Ow. Ow. Uh, she's the one carrying the vaccine for Fargo. Okay, so that's a bit mean. Any questions? Um, well, I've got... Uh, actually... <laughs> I'm here, Colonel. Uh, very good, that's all, gentlemen. Um, dismissed. Okay, great. A double escort mission. That's, that's not. That's not fine. It's not nice. Right. Let's uh, get. Let's get aboard. I don't like escort missions. It's the. It's just. <laughs> it's just hard. Although I've got a heavy fighter, so that's something. What's um. Uh, so I've got Spiculum Infrared Missiles, I've got Pylum FF, don't know what that means, or Porcupines, whatever they are, and Javelin Heat Seekers, so let's stick with the Javelin Heat Seekers for the moment. I've got Neutron Guns, Mass Drivers, and Full Guns, so I'm going to go with the Neutron Guns for the moment. They were quite effective last time. So at least I've got a tougher ship, that's something. Cue the slow motion running, yeah I know. Oh look, there's the Escort, I've got to keep the Escort alive, and here come the baddies, right. Okay, so break an attack. Let's get these as early as we can. Oh, there's four of them. I mean, come on. Really? Well, they're a bit tougher, these neutral guns, than the other shit. I don't want to attack that. Good shooting, Major. Where's my target locking? Ah, come on, what's going on? Can I hit that caps lock again? Yes, I have. Can I stop doing that? That's quite dangerous. <laughs> hit the caps lock and none of your controls work. Uh, have one of those. Oops. Oh, I'm wanging on my... Uh, Oh, a proper face for a cat. Ow! Mr. Cat. That's a bit a bit much, isn't it? The other one's attacking the transport ship. God, that missile's so slow. Look, there's the missile, and I'm flying alongside it. I need a faster missile. Oh, it shot down. I think that's trying to draw me away. Come on, that. Let's get back in there. I've got a nasty feeling I just lost the convoy. I think I did. A nice planet Saturn there. Yeah, I think I've lost the convoy, haven't I? Oh dear. Is there a way to abort the mission? Oh, I don't 
see the convoy ship about. I can't keep up with this ship either. It's running at a range. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, that's night. I've lost my combat ship. Eject. Yeah. Eject from ship control E. Boom. Here we go. I don't think we've done this before actually. Hopefully somebody finds us. That's also quite cool, isn't it? Uh, oh dear. <laughs> You're about to receive a golden sun for ejecting and surviving. After that, ejecting just wastes the Confederation starfighters. <laughs> For bravely sacrificing his vessel, endangering his life in combat with the Kilrathi enemy in the Dukkha system. I got the Golden Sun for failing the mission. <laughs> really? <laughs> Good job, Squirrel. What? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I got a medal for failing the mission. Really? Okay. Well, I don't like escort missions anyway. <laughs> So can you fail the mission then? So I don't know, Johnson, then that's exactly the question I'm asking at this point is I'm totally an expensive ship. <laughs> the station interior is looking really good, it says Feather of the Crow. Yes, they're, they're, they're very high res. Um, laughed about that. Okay, so that's that's kind of a, um, yeah, it does seem a bit strange. Okay, well, that's the way to get around the escort missions is just instantly eject. <laughs> Heard you had to take out some crants. Glad to see you made it back in one piece though. Those babies can be tough. I hear that Joel, Jal yeah, those Jalty fighters are tough. On those six shooters on your tail, you can kiss it goodbye. Kiss your ass goodbye. But I bet if you get them low and behind Jal Rathi, you'll toast it. They seem to have all their armour on the front. So they're all giving me tips on how to kill ships. Bad design, no matter how many guns you've got up front. Yeah, they're quite hard to just sell up those rear pipes and boom, no more kitty. <laughs> and you can do it only once, as far as I remember. Oh, okay. Um, okay, well, that's interesting. So, is um, Spirit, is she playing um, guitar there or what's she doing? Looks like she's singing away. Join me, Squirrel. Night is poor company and I feel the need to talk. Ah. Okay. I've been studying the history and progress of the war. I see that things are going fairly well for us. Despite my. And to maintain our position, we must be ever diligent, ever alert. I think, they, I think you mean vigilance, actually, my dear, not diligent, but there we go. We must fight as if there were no tomorrow, for in truth, that is the case. Every day the Kilrathi bring up more troops. And they challenge us harder each time we fly, indeed. The future of humanity rests with us, a heavy... <laughs> okay. She's really into her exposition, this girl. <laughs> but one we must bear, for if we don't, who will? <laughs> right, you are, sister. <laughs> um, okay. A knight. Hey, squirrel, have a seat. I've heard some talk lately that burns me up. Ooh. Someone's saying I'm an unsafe to fly with and that I'm a cat lover. Oh, that would be maniac. Oh, I, did I say that out loud? <laughs> well, I won't stand for that kind of slander. It's not true. I wonder if the game set me up for a, a sudden inevitable betrayal along the way here. I may not be as high flying as Hunter, but I get the job done in one piece. Yeah, you were, you were predictable on my wing. Um, <laughs> but hey, you're not the guy to complain to. After all, we've flown together now. Yes, we have. You were right, mate. You were, you were good. I'm, I'm okay with you. Uh, you know you can count on me. It's just a matter of trust. Right, yeah. Now, there are a bunch of characters. <laughs> Thanks for the shoulder squirrel. Okay, so there's a bit of a morale problem on board now. <laughs> um, right, so I, actually I'm going to save then. Save this campaign because we seem to have moved on. I don't like escort missions anyway. So let's think of something more interesting this time. Let's see what happens next. Mission briefing. Oh, I'm just going to get eject and see how many medals I can get. <laughs> ten minutes into the briefing. Whoa, which brings us to our patrol. <laughs> what was in that ten minutes? Lambda wing. 
Things have been too quiet lately, too quiet. Gilrathia are definitely out there. Problem is, we don't know where. Oh, we've got no intel. Excellent. Your job will be to locate the enemy and report back to the claw. Squirrel, you and Knight will investigate. Squirrel will lead the mission. Understood, Colonel. Your patrol will be as follows. Nav 1, Nav 2, and Nav 3. Oh, look. <laughs> as you can see, there's not much to go on. It's space. <laughs> the thing you should know about space is it's empty. Uh, oh, there's asteroids at Nav 1. That's always fun. Make the rounds and return with your report. Unless you have questions, that's all. Well, yeah, if we see Karathi, do we engage? Oh, there we go. He's actually asking a sensible question. Be clear to engage any targets we sight, Colonel. Definitely. Use your judgment, though. I don't want to lose any more pilots. Good man. Uh, squadron dismissed. Right, okay. I'll forgive them. Um, <laughs> first 10 minutes we're talking about the janitorial schedule. Has many I given I haven't seen any of the other pilots eject yet. I don't know. Right. What, what ship are they giving me this time? I should be able to recognise them by the thingies, but I'm not sure I do. Uh, right. Well, actually, that's the mouse. That's the mouse. Right. Go away. Uh, okay. So I've got I've got the heavy fighter again. Excellent. I like the heavy fighter. Right. Let's let's move on. Let's see what's out there at Nav One. All right, we know there's asteroids, so that's boring. Wouldn't it be fun if there was a mission where actually nothing happened? Oh, enemy ahead already. Well, there's only two of them. Let's go get them. I've got my neutron guns. Actually, I switch to full guns because full guns, right? In the asteroid field. Oh, I've still got. Gee. Full guns, there we go. Have some of that. Boom, boom. That should have hit quite hard. Yeah, got one. Okay, so full guns are quite good if you hit, but their recharge time is really long. So you kind of got to make sure you hit. Like, not like that. <laughs> oh, the frame rate has jumped up now that we've cleared the asteroid field. <laughs> Suddenly the game is totally different. <laughs> oh, there's the asteroid field again. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, wow, asteroid! <laughs> so, so, so brutal this game. This is this has been <laughs> much 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 harder this week. I don't know if it's me. Maybe I'm tired. I've had my space tea as well. I think you're flying too fast. Was that what it was? Yeah. Good ramming, Mr. Wake. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I am. I am. Be a. Yeah, this may come as a surprise to you who watch my streams regularly, is that I'm not the galaxy's best space pilot. Uh. <laughs> oh, we've got enemy baddies coming. Right, attack my target. Let's get in there. Maybe I need to slow down a bit. Rushing into things. These asteroids flying really, really weird. 
hit <laughs> directions. Um, I'm sure there's something very strange happening with the asteroids. All right, full guns we have. Take that. Oh yes, look, we're getting some good hits. Why do they even have clocks? It's always 0... Yeah, I've noticed that. It's always 0, 0 37. Um, well, that didn't go well either. <laughs> How many times have I died now? Five? <laughs> it's just brutally difficult. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. This is supposed to be an easy mission as well. I'm just just go around and have points. Um... <laughs> Well, I still want to know why they've got a leak on their spaceship. Right, I'm going to change tactics. I'm going to go for neutral guns instead this time because I seem to be keep, keep getting killed. Um, I had better success with the neutral guns. So let's let's stick with neutral guns. Javelin heat seekers. Because this is supposed to be quite a tough ship. Twelve. <laughs> twelve. <laughs> no, I don't think I've quite got to twelve yet. Um, there they are. Look. Cheeky alien ships coming in. Enemy ahead. Well, let's go get them. Break an attack. All the weapons are a variety on balls of plasma in space, aren't they? We haven't actually got any kind of proper laser weapons. Stuff that I would recognise as a like a beam laser or something. I don't know if Wing Commander does that. I can't remember later on whether or not you have those kind of weapons or whether it's always sort of ammunition type weapons, if that makes sense. As in kind of hard pointy stuff. Oh look, something got some there. That was a nice shot. These ships seem to be very tough. The missile. Bad damage though, look at that. Boom, yay, got him. The missile. These missiles aren't very fast, look. <laughs> I'm outrunning the missile, virtually. Ah, oh, I ran out of range. Another missile. Is he trying to run away? Give him some stuff up his jacksy. Boom, there we go. <laughs> Yay! Um, right. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so this is Nav 1, where we've still got the asteroid field. The trick of the asteroid field seems to just be to steer away if there's an asteroid anywhere near you because they. <laughs> That seem to be magnetically attracted to you. Right, okay, so we've reached Nav 1. There's Nav 2. Okay. Let's thrust away from there. Let me switch the auto. Okay, so that's Nav 2. Uh, okay, more cure. Ah, oh, look, we've got four of the wretched things. Boom. Nice. Leave my wingman alone. Oh, 
looks like the pylon missiles are dumb fire, so that's going to be great to the use actually. What else have I got? I've got a porcupine. I don't know what a porcupine does. I think it's going to be great to the use though, so. Oh, come on. Cool. So, <laughs> I don't know who was firing that. Let's insult the cat. Send message to enemy target. Die, furball. <laughs> this is the best the apes could offer. What else can we say? <laughs> Slag off. You fight like a stillborn kitten. <laughs> Bite it, cat face. <laughs> oh, here's an answer to that one. <laughs> uh, being able to insult the other ships is, is quite... <laughs> Quite fun. There, I killed him. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Makes a change from inspiration. Um, looks like a squash starfighter. It does look a bit like it. You're quite right. Oh, look at that. There's loads of Kilrathi around here. Let's get... Uh, stick with me, Sunny boy. You'll be fine. That looks like a... Bigger ship, it is. Ooh. Can I get the other one? That is definitely a big ship. Is that some sort of Kilrathi? Mothership, there, isn't it? I think we probably. Have we got, have we got any, I've got no weapons I can take it out with. There's other Kilrathi about. So they don't seem to be able to target. Okay, let's just take a run that thing again. Can we only do any damage to it? Good if we could take it down. Boom. Don't think. This is a good idea. Nope. I'm gonna save my wingman. Nice. Right. Uh, return to base. Has he heard me? Looks like it. Right. How do I return to base? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, okay, so I've saved my wingman. Turn to base. Select the next nav point, okay. So it's still just saying enemy near. Flying away. 
There's the nerf point. Let's try there. Cool. Oh, I just been has not. No, I think I sent Knight home because um, I was worried that if we kept attacking that big ship, then we'd be in, in trouble. Um, enemy news. I'm just have to wait for it now. Aren't I? I've run out of. I've run out of boost. I think. Um, <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Enemy near still. I wonder if they're pursuing me. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, what is Some of that. It's just you and me, you kill Rathy scum. Right. Feast upon your offspring. <laughs> I didn't think you will, actually. You're dead. Um. So where's the the other fighter staying close to that mothership, which isn't really very helpful for me. Now I've lost the nav target thing again. I've got no fuel. No, I've got. I'm, I'm out of fuel. if we can finish the mission. Uh, <laughs> da, da, da. Yay, there we go, the autopilot's on. Dun, 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 dun. Right, um, new objective, Nav 3. Shouldn't be, oh, apart from the asteroids, which are just a pain. Near. I've got to get away from the asteroids. Let's see if we get back. Because I was I wasn't supposed to destroy anything, I was just supposed to reconnoitre space, so with a bit of luck. I'm okay. <laughs> see if I pass the mission or not. Yeah, there it is. We can get the tiger's claw. Back for tea and biscuits. Slow down a bit. Tiger's claw request landing. You know, clear to land, squirrel. There we go. I need to engineer my shields, I know. <laughs> There's no power management, that's something that's I'm, I'm surprised at, actually. I thought there might be in the game. But I suppose it is the 90s. We haven't got power management here. You got away pretty clean, sir. Yeah, I ran out of weapons and fuel. <laughs> Didn't get damaged, though. It's always a really, really bad time of the night, isn't it? <laughs> like, can't we do this in the daytime, sir? Welcome back to the monster situation. It was a welcoming committee among the rocks at Nav 1, but they aren't going home. We spotted a Rolari class destroyer at Nav 2. Is that what it was? Try to get in for the kill, sir, but they, they fought us off. Yeah, we hadn't got... Uh, we'll send a strike wing after her. Excellent. Still, so I'd rather have taken her out. Yes, I would it. You got seven, Squirrel. That's pretty good. X-Wing was the first with power management, was it, uh, Kelvinator? A knight struck out. See? Knight. Cat lover. That's what's going on there. Uh, right, back to the barkeep. Come on, Shot Glass. Word is we're pulling out soon. <laughs> it's for the Karasara system. The time will be reset, Chris Viking, I'm sure, for the next mission. There's Kirathi colleagues out there. I heard that one of the Kirathi aces is flying around. Ooh, a Kirathi ace. We like them. Go ask Paladin. I think he's tangled with him before. Bum, bum, bum. Take care of yourself, squirrel. <laughs> Alright, Paladin. So far, the most useless co pilot on there. Well, now, lad. It is good to see. <laughs> he's got a glow in the dark moustache, though. Have a seat until the glass. Glow in the dark here. I hear all shot glass rumbling all about the Kilrathi aces. Uh huh. Now, last I heard, laddie, <laughs> the only use around these parts was back tosh red claw. <laughs> uh, it was a few years when I had a tussle with him. It was back a few years. Right. He's one of, them, he's one of their nobles, so it said. While most Kilrathi look at humans as animals. 
He thinks that we're not even that high or mighty. <laughs> anyway, lad, I was serving on the cruiser when he led a jalthy attack on our ship. He's easily the deadliest aim that Kilver has got to offer. Ooh, okay, it's a top ace. Excellent. He took out four of my mates before we knew what hit us. Ouch. Okay, so he's pretty good. Keep an eye out for him, lad. He's a tough warrior. So back tosh or something. Was shot glass still called shot glass when he was a pilot? I have no idea. That's a good point. Okay, so who's um that's Bossman got to say for himself? Ah, squirrel joined the party. We've done well to this point. I believe you have played a major part. <laughs> However, should we falter now, I fear that we will be pushed back to our colonies. Time for more some some more exposition. But that's not likely. You, myself, all of us can affect that outcome. Okay, this is the this is the go go rah rah speech. Think about that when you next fly. It'll guide your actions. Okay, so very serious. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So how are we doing score wise? Oh, look, Commander Major Wager is now in third place <laughs> behind Major Taggart. I'm not far behind the others actually. Four more kills and I'm on top of the leaderboard. I might make it today. Um, right, so let's save this campaign. Save Squirrel. Yep, right, what's next? Tibble's pain dealer. <laughs> Kitten the pussycat. Yeah. No time to waste, people. Let's get to it. Guess what? What time is it? Um, reports of Karathi Supply Convy moving into our attack range. We can't pass up a target like this, so Epstein Wing is going to take it out. Yes, a take out mission. Squirrel, you will lead knight on this one. You boys think you can pull it off? Obviously, no problem, sir. There's something you don't <laughs> you don't yet know, Squirrel. <laughs> our spotters have placed the Karathi Ace. Ah, oh, Backtosh Redclaw is out there with the convoy. Bam, bam, bam. He's a Karathi nobleman and the deadliest shot in the entire Karathi name. Well, he's dead then. Is the scenario for this one? Okay, so we gotta kill Baktosh Muk, Muk Redclaw, whatever his name is. Your Septa Talker class tanker at the jump point in F1, right? Blow it to bits and proceed in F2. Excellent. Um, at that point, you should cite at least one Kilrathi troop transport. Those transports are your main objective and probably the best defended. Okay, so that's probably what we're gonna encounter. Kitty McTosh. Where is there is? Okay. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, go watch yourself with Red Claw, but concentrate your fire on the on the sports. <laughs> said stop saying sports. This is a transport. You launch in three minutes. Just missed. Dun, 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 dun. Ready for it? Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Zedek Specky. How are you doing, sir? What the <laughs> tourist luck? What a shock! The pilot they happen to be talking about at the bar is part of the following mission. Yeah, I mean, it's funny how that happens, isn't it? Right, so. What's his name again? Backtosh Redclaw. Backtosh. Backtosh Redclaw. Right. We've got to keep an eye out for him. Um. Uh, coming back from vacations and already missing the vacations, yes. I know what you heard. Right. Get in there, my friend. Let's break an attack. Right. What have we got? Pylum. Let's pile in then with the pylums. I'm going to go straight for the carrier. Because why not? I get it? No idea whether that worked or not. Just fire all the missiles at it. <laughs> Boom. Oh, ejector system hit. This is, this, is, this is not a good strategy. I should have taken out the enemy guns first. Boom! There you go. Why is my oh, thrust 
is all working. Oh, but this is supposed to be the least defended bit. <laughs> you ask me, this seems to be pretty heavily defended. <laughs> Boom. Gotcha. How many ships are here? There's loads of them. One down, screw Well done, fella. You killed something. It's better than Maniac does. Ejector system's been damaged. That's all right, I never use it anyway. Boom. My offspring shall avenge me. Ah, uh, that's just because you did. So there's a sort of damage system, but all it can do is report that stuff is damaged. It doesn't seem to be able to fix anything, which would be nice. Catface, <laughs> go feast upon your offspring. No, you won't. I haven't got any offspring anyway. At least I assume I haven't. I don't know. Does does my commander have any offspring? Oh, I think I rammed him. Right. Okay. I've got a porcupine. Is all I've got left. I haven't got. <laughs> that may have been a mistake. I haven't got any weapons. <laughs> Oh, we haven't got to have two. And we're ahead, Major. Okay, let's take out the fighters first. Knight. Break an attack. What does the porcupine do? Oh! There's, there's the alien dude. The top, top ace. He's out there. Don't know ship he is. Right, let's insult him. Bite it, cat face. <laughs> Soon, Kira shall. <laughs> Etc. <laughs> no, I think. Bite it, cat face. <laughs> uh, oh, he's got missiles and everything. Right, he's going down. He might be the top ace, but you're no match for Major Wager Squirrel. <laughs> People hear me. People see me come and they fear for their nuts. He's definitely jinking about a bit more than they normally do, so he's obviously quite good. I am assisting you. Stop panicking. He's wingmen. See, look, he doesn't, has, hasn't met. How dare! Primate actually shot me. Amazing. <laughs> no, you're going down, my friend. <laughs> look, just stop. I'm a bit busy right now. It cannot be! Good shooting, Major! <laughs> oh, I killed the Karathi Ace. Ta-da! 
Um. How awesome am I? Oh, that they've sent reinforcements in. This isn't good. Bad. Oh, <laughs> I can't take it out. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was all going so well. Um, awaken the squirrel. <laughs> Uh, the real pain in the ass in the next ring was when your displays got shot at and you didn't get all the information yet. Um, yeah, well, Canal Venator, yeah, they should definitely make some um, propaganda movies. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Right, so I couldn't imagine doing anything this. Can I repeat this mission? So, yeah, so I'm sort of, um, I'm repeating the mission now. Yeah, fortunately, I, I do save it so I can go back and do it again. Um, Brutally hard though, isn't it? it really, it's, I mean, it's, it's not just me. I mean, I know I'm old and I know my reaction time is not going to be brilliant, but this is hard. This it really is hard. Um, way harder than modern games. I mean, it just wants to kill you all the time. Um, it really does. And it's not like you respawn. If you haven't saved, that's it. Um, you're back to wherever you last saved. It's that difficult. Oh, look how many, how many bad guys it's chucked at me here. It's just ludicrously difficult. Insane levels of bad guyness going on here. Come on, hit him. Boom. Yes. This time I'm going to concentrate on taking out the fighters first. See if this helps. Ow. So many bad guys. Choose your moment of fire. And they're very good at dodging, actually. Considering it's all got sort of scaled sprites and all that sort of stuff going on. Oh. Ships. That doesn't work. <laughs> oh, stop. oh, I got him. Nice. Good shooting, Major Squirrel.
Boom. Hey, see, look. Old Knight's doing all right. Good shooting. Ooh, that's nice as well. Awesome. <sighs> <laughs> Difficulty was ramped up to hide the short duration. Yeah. There was no QA. The devs test themselves since they mastered the game. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> right. Okay, so we've killed some dudes. On which we go. Enemy ahead, Major. Right. Knight, attack my target. Let's deal with these. Kill Rathy scum. Right, there's the other guy. He's the he's the bad guy, so let's just deal with his wingman first. Then we'll deal with the ace. Also called Karathi Ace. Boom. That's his wingman gone. Right, where's the other one? Die, cat face. <laughs> it's so childish, but so good. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna salt him again. Slag off! <laughs> you shall never enjoy your plant again, ape. Not the way they've always got their rejoinder loaded straight away. Fairball. I wonder if Terrans would make good slaves. <laughs> They'll never find out. He's quite good actually. He's got a different level of AI to the, the normal fighters. He acts in a different way, which is which is quite good actually. It does make you feel like you're fighting somebody a bit different. Kitty cat as the rest of them. He's fast, I'll give him that. A rare primate actually shot me. Amusing. solution either. I mean, amateurs. Rookie wingman there. Again. 
do not want to die right at the end of the mission because it's just too much like hard work. Come on, die. <laughs> you can't have much left, surely. Yes, right, let's get that. Get that ship. On down squirrel, boom! Yeah, see that was easy. Nice, well done, knight and squirrel. <laughs> uh. Sure, you need to kill them nine times. Oh, yeah, I suppose the cats. I think I killed quite a few on this particular one. Um, there we go. We're, we're back home with the TCS Tiger's Claw. Back home for tea and crumpets. Awesome stuff. Why can't I send a message to the tiger's claw? him to return to base. Negative Major? What do you mean negative Major? Have we got something to do? Looks like we've still got something to do. Have I got to transport this ship to somewhere? Sounds like I have. Yeah. Sorry, forgot about that. <laughs> Can I use a ball of wool as a missile and use it to distract them? <laughs> Pull up! Objective reached. Right, this way. Okay, we made it back. Apart from my materialised right in front of the tiger's claw, which wasn't wasn't ideal. Uh, okay, how much damage did we take? Damage computer, light. Okay, pretty good, really. There's the tiger's claw. So let's get ourselves oriented as best we can. Is we can roll. Mm -hmm. I still can't talk to the Tiger's Claw. New objective. What am I supposed to be doing then? Return to Tiger's Claw at best speed. Pretty sure that's what I've done, isn't it? Still happening, I don't know. Press the autopilot. <laughs> Just keep going around on the autopilot. What's happened? Is it Twitch distorting the music? No, this is exactly how it was back in the day. <laughs> I think, anyway. It's definitely the tiger's claw, isn't it? Don't tell me it's bugged on me. Oh, there it is. Two. Request landing. Phew. <sighs> Just DOS box scrappy. There. Yeah. Oh, Twitch is distorting the music, so apologies for that. I don't know why that would be. Um, it's, it's, it's not great, to be honest. You're not missing it much. I was trying to resync the audio. <laughs> I don't know how that. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. Um, you sure got yourself shot up, so well, Did you see the number of baddies they said to me? It was a bit outrageous. Um, mission debriefing. Look, it's always one o'clock in the morning, isn't it? Why do we always have our mission so early? Um, Neuros says, "I remember when these graphics were amazing. I think they still stand up as a game." But good landing, Squirrel. How do things go out there? Well, tank has been nailed, sir. She went up in a flash. <laughs> Uh, we took out the first transport without too much problem. The second one was tougher, but we got there too. Yeah, I knew that the boys could do it. That damn good work. Now, I'm hoping I shall be top of the leaderboard now. According to the log, you shot down Backtosh McRedclaw. <laughs> hey, <laughs> congratulations. 
I should get a medal for that, surely. You wasted nine of the fuzzball squirrel. Backdosh. Red claw. And Knight took down three. So Knight's all right. Okay. We, we, your Knight's been exonerated. He's okay. Meanwhile, dun, dun, dun. human colony on the water planet Hurricane, Port Headland system. While Kurathi wrestles over Hurricane, gain control of Port Headland space. Uh oh. A wing of Dorathi fighters descend to attack the settlements on the surface. No! Defeat of Hurricane's colonists is swift and complete. Oh no. He's Kurathi. Uh, talk to shot glass, right. The third planet's a jungle world with hang on, I think we missed the whole conversation there. Try that again. Here we are at Rostov System School. You ever heard much about it? No. I'm sure you're gonna tell me though. A third planet's a jungle world with a native race of primitive sentience. Okay, that means the Confederation won't colonise officially except for scientific missions. Or unless there's some oil or some raw materials that we want. Of course, that just leaves the planet open for unregulated settlement. Aha! Sponsored by the government. <laughs> Grey Towns is what they call these unauthorised colonies. They're full of the usual spaceport scum and villainy crowd. <laughs> Excellent. That sounds like our kind of place. <laughs> There's a little place on Rostov 3, I know, called Rita's Cantina. <laughs> a cantina! It's a great place to visit, but don't go in uniform. <laughs> Do they play music like this? If you go, tell Rita Old Shot Glass sent you there. She'll look after you while you're out there. Excellent. Here's a top tip for those of you who are still young. If a barkeep tells you to go to another bar and says, so-and-so said sent you, never ever say that, okay? It's not a good piece of advice. Uh, squirrel. Rest of systems is full of asteroids. Oh, nice. Heavy mineral resources. Since the Confederation has never officially settled it, bum, 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 because of the native sentience, those native sentience, we're at a disadvantage defending against the Empire. Oh, okay. That just makes Rostov more attractive to the Kilrathi. Minerals, jungle world, primitive race for slaves. Yep. The hairballs want this one bad. I can feel it. <laughs> um, well, there we go. Okay, so Hunter is out there as well. G'day, squirrel. Grab a chair and have a cold one, mate. <laughs> Best way to ready yourself for a good scrap. That's your opinion, Hunter. <laughs> That's it, mate. That it is, mate. After all, someone's got to show our boys how to relax. How does he speak while well, able to hold that cigar in his mouth? Don't let the colonel catch you tipping for a foreign mission, though. So it's okay to drink <laughs> in space before going on a very, very, very important mission in a high-tech fighter ship. It's okay to have a beer. Fair enough. Um, right. Okay, check the pilot scores. Oh no, look, Major Taggart is still in the lead with an extra four kills. So I'm not far behind him though, am I? Um, so no, I'm in, I'm in second place. Can I can I catch him up? Right, let's let's save this campaign. Save the squirrel. Onwards we go. Right, what happens next then? Mission briefing. Look, it's still two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Settle down, people. We've got a job to do, so let's get to work. As you know, Rostov system has been off limits for authorised colonization. Colonization, because of the presence of the native species called the something. Yet the system contains a <laughs> stop talking so fast, attracting the attention of the Empire Killer. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Kurathi don't need to place the ports on the as we do. <sighs> Let me slow down. So we're here to defend the system. Its natives are not another defend the system. No, I will call the attack. We receive reports from our scientific missions from the third planet, indicating the presence of kill Rathi warships in the system. Our first job here is to recon the system and locate all the hostiles. Squirrel, you'll lead the first patrol wing. Iceman will fly on your wing. Ooh, Iceman. Here's your mission plan. You'll recon for four potential jump points on this one. Ooh, four. Unusual, we get a nav four this time. Um, I suspect the kill Rathi are running supplies near nav two or three. Okay. 
so be especially alert in those areas. Iceman glares. <laughs> Uh, and keep your eyes open for asteroids. There are several rather dense asteroid fields in the area. Okay. Keep an eye out for those asteroids. I don't like asteroids. Any questions? Yes, sir. Why is it always one o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Good luck. We spot supply ships. Do we engage? Your call, Wega. <laughs> if you decide to go for it, make sure you make it count. Okay, we can't allow the kill Rathi to establish a base in this system. Squadron dismissed. Right, okay. I don't know what this, this is business about the, um, the the music is a bit interesting, so I've just been catching up on the chat. So um, I don't know why um, why that would be. Is it browser related or Twitch related? It'd be interesting to hear if it shows up on the recording then. Um, in the, uh, straight out of the the hangar and we're already into the asteroid. There are a lot of asteroids in the system. Let's get past the asteroids. Let's, what can we say to Wingman? Never mind. Okay, we got past number one. We have the asteroids? Still near the asteroids. Has it still near? More asteroids. Yay, we like it, because asteroids are fun. Alright, there's the nav point. Okay, it's now waiting for nav two. Nav one is clear, I'm guessing. I bet there's some ships in the next one. Oh, enemy ship sighted. Okay, there's only a couple of them. Iceman. Let's see how good he is. Attack his target. Go for it. Let's see how good Iceman is. Is he any good? ship design actually this um drowthy fighter i like these ones with the sort of swoopy wings they're not very strong but they're, they're quite they're quite good well, i did all the work there mr iceman <laughs> slightly ironic that the music sounds like someone's strangling a cat um hazard near there's no hazards okay all right well that was nav two there wasn't much at nav two in those times, if you had a Roland, ah, oh, Roland, yes. Those were the days. All right, breaking attack. Come on, Mr. Iceman. Wilco. 80's called and they want their lingo back. <laughs> Wilco. Oh, he's actually doing some attacking, though. Get him. System hit. You know what the computer system does. 
means I can't lock on target anymore. Acceleration absorbers hit. I wonder what they do. Missile locked on the balls. Ow, ow. To my firing solution. Fly right in front of my gun. That's very, very stupid. Doesn't look like I fire missiles when I'm in that mode. Oh, actually, nothing's responding at all. Oh, it is. There we go. Keep drawing now. Must have hit that. Caps lock again. Yeah, that's what's happened. Again, oh, I was doing quite well as well. It's annoying when you get killed near the end of a mission. <sighs> mission briefing. Da, 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 da. Watch out for the asteroids because asteroids are. Da, 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 da. Am I using the mouse to steer a ship? No, I'm using my trusty Hotess. Thrustmaster T16000M. Ask me what the M stands for. How many funerals today? I think I'm up to about 10. I don't know how many times I've died. It is a lot. It's not been going well today. Um, it's worse than normal. Definitely worse than normal. It's, it's, it's been bad. Was this game before digital sound samples? I think so. Yes. I don't think I don't think there was quite enough memory yet to make that reliably. Um, I'm assuming this game probably came on floppy disk. Is that right? Does anybody can anyone remember? Um, oh, how deep is this asteroid field? Floppy disks, yeah, there we go. So there probably just wasn't the space because obviously digitized samples take up a lot of room. Uh, if, you know, for this era anyway. <laughs> Three floppy disks, as I recall. Wow. <laughs> Proper big game then. Um, enemy ship sighted. Right, go Iceman. Let's deal with the Kirwathi scum. Let's insult the Kirwathi. Bite it, cat face. Because <laughs> that's just funny. Target. Yep, that was my fault. Boom. Those dr drowthy fighters are quite easily, are quite easy to deal with. So that's that's good. Oh, no asteroids. 
the asteroids seem magnetically attracted towards your ship, which is, <laughs> which is a bit worrying. Um, there's definitely something weird going on there. Right. Oh, I may go four channels of PCM with the mods. Yes, I remember mods. All good times. All good times. So yeah, I don't know if this is DOS box or what it what it is that's causing slight wackiness, but let's break an attack. Let's see what you can do, Mr. Iceman. Oh, it's these Southy. No, Gratka fighters. These ones are quite tough. I'm going full guns here. surprising. Iceman's been shot down. Ah! No. Has he has he ejected? Oh dear. That's not good. Now I'm seriously outgunned as well. This isn't this isn't good at all. Lost my, lost my, he's supposed to be the best, isn't he, Iceman? Reject. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to reject as well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get another medal? Iceman's been iced. Oh dear. Oh no! <laughs> Didn't even get rescued. <laughs> oh look, that's a. So Michael Casey and Major Wega both died. Oh dear. <laughs> that was a disaster, wasn't it? How come I, I thought I was dead? I know it's basic. Okay, well, let's see what happens. <laughs> yes, sir. That ship you just bailed out will cost over 100 million credits. <laughs> It'll be weeks or months before the Tiger Claw receives a replacement. Dear. <laughs> you still have to take him on the leaderboard. <laughs> it's coming out of your salary, Commander. If you have no choice but to reject, then do it. Well, that's kind of where I was, actually. Iceman got himself killed. But don't let me catch you bailing out of a ship you could have flown home. <laughs> a bit harsh. I'll keep it in mind. I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> Iceman was iced. Ah, oh, dear. So that's all then, Major. He's not happy, is he? He's not happy. I suppose I should continue because that's that's what's happened. I'm still here, so I need to continue. Uh, so what does it show on the board? Major Major Casey killed in action. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but I am on top of the leaderboard. Yay! 
Ah, oh, dear. Okay. So, not not so good. Hey, Scroll, you look like a man who could use a drink. <laughs> I think I probably do. Uh, I've invented the new drink named for this system. I call it the Rostov Hairball. Ah, uh, I wonder what that's got it. For those Kilrathi ships on the rocks out there in the asteroid fields. Yep. What's it got in it? Stop by when you're off duty and we'll have one. See, look, you could have a drink at the bar. Um, no real world consequences. Oh, I don't know. We've, we've actually, we, we, we've lost Iceman. Maniac will be happy. Hey there, Squirrel, how's it going? Well, I've had better days. <laughs> I sure wish I could see some more action. Well, you may not want that, uh, to be honest. But the commander won't let me on the flight deck. What have you done? You still upset about that transport that I accidentally scragged? <laughs> Man, it wasn't my fault. I can't control a missile once it's launched. What did you fire the wrong ship? <laughs> no one can. How am I supposed to stop it if acquiring a Draven as its target? Oh, okay. So you shot down the. Oh dear. I've just I've just been responsible for the death of our best pilot. Besides, the transport should know enough to stay out of the fridge. Okay, so he's actually taken out a transport. <laughs> Oops. Another person of good books now. Hello, squirrel. Have a seat. I hear the Karathi are hungry for minerals in those asteroids out there. <sighs> My guess is that they'll try and send them some heavier ships. No, it's probably a good idea to hang on to a couple of missiles. Good plan. I usually do, actually, in case you meet something big in the later stages of a mission. Subtle hints are here again. <laughs> that way you'll still have something with a punch to throw at the big boys. Yeah. Okay, well that kind of makes sense. So, have I got time to just try another mission? Probably yes. All right, let's, let's save the campaign. Iceman was annoying anyway. <laughs> but anyway, he was supposed to be our best pilot, but he didn't do very well. His first sortie out with me, he gets himself killed. So, look, it's still two o'clock in the morning. Well, Kilrathia strengthen their position within the system. Tactical reports, <laughs> several new bogeys jumping in. We've just gotten a confirmed fix on the Rolari class destroyer. Yay. Squirrel, you've got this one to your s yourself? What? We can't let them keep that kind of firepower back, so we're going to send in one ship. <laughs> our mission will be to engage the Rolari destroyer. Why on my own? <laughs> we don't have a tactical report of his escort ship, but rest assured they'll be there. Why on my own? We're counting on you to succeed. But, 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 but! It's your strike plan. Get yourself killed <laughs> straight away. <laughs> Should encounter her. What? <laughs> You'll have to fly for an asteroid field. Oh, well, that's. that's punishment for getting ice. <laughs> that should allow you a measure of surprise. Okay. Which should provide a safe course. So, yeah, because I've been responsible for the death of another pilot, they're going to put me at risk. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> this is mission certain death. That's a, such a bad military decision, isn't it? I'm going to send in one ship on its own. Uh, <laughs> nobody wants to fly with me. <laughs> for the Dick Iceman get killed. Yeah, I'm rejoining him soon. And they haven't even given me. Have they ever, yeah, they give me a heavy. At least they give me a heavy fighter. I suppose that's something. <laughs> it's, it's his destiny. No, it's not. I can't believe they sent me out on my own. I've got no. Like I said, it's just me. This, this isn't going to go well, is it? And it's in an asteroid field, because I like fighting in asteroid fields, you know that. Oh, I think I've got one already. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, he hit an asteroid! Excellent! That was quite cool. Saves me killing him. All right, selfie fighter. Here we go. About eight of them. Oh yeah, that's completely 
reasonable, isn't it? <laughs> Send me in here. All of my own some. <laughs> because, yeah, that's going to work well. Have some of that. Come on, missile. Why is the missile so slow? Boom. At least I got him. I think I think they keep hitting asteroids, which is actually quite good. It's just me and you, right? Let's insult the scum. Bite it, catface. <laughs> yep. Don't hit them head on, Drew. Oh, I got him. Right, so that was just now one, wasn't it? Oof. Rip Commander Scroll. Hands next to the eject button, yeah. I bet there's like four ships out here. This isn't fair, this is too many. Oh, there's, yeah, there's, so there's the big ship. So let's see if I can deal with these fighters first. Come on, give me a target lock or something. Come on. Oh. Oh, I hate these. Oh, I just rammed into it. Oh. See, told you a squirrel was gonna gonna die. That's a stupid mission. Um, <laughs> let's try that again. Have I got time? Yeah, I've just about got time. Um, awaken the squirrel. God, this is just stupid. Got this one to yourself, squirrel. <laughs> Mission is this. If I fail this time, then I'll have to come back and try again next week. <laughs> I'm sitting in the afterlife. <laughs> ah, how brutal were games in the in the olden days? Difficult. You sure don't. You do, don't you? Some of the squirrel. <laughs> the squirrel is what we need. Okay, so here come the kill rafies. You're not going to get me. Got to be a bit careful because we're still flying around an asteroid field. Quite cool that the enemy can be killed by the asteroids, though. I think that's quite a nice feature. Boom. Boom. Ow, he just ripped off the forward part of my ship. Oh, that little bit of damage I've got there in the top left. Look, I've got some wires hanging out on the top of my screen. It's quite cool. He took some damage. No internal damage. That's good. So, no system damage, just damage to me. Boom. That is not costing a pound per go. Okay, right, that's, that's the end of Squirrel for this week, I'm afraid, my friends. We are gathered here today to pay tribute to one of our own because we sent him out to <laughs> ridiculous tactical disadvantage in a single ship against a complete convoy of 
Kilrathi warships and the destroyer. I wonder why he didn't come back. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. How about attention? Prepare arms. Farewell, squirrel. You'll be missed. Uh, <laughs> Don't need shuffles. Drew's doing the sounds for you. <laughs> well, it started this way with me dying. It's ended with me dying as well. <laughs> the end. There you go. That is the end of the stream, my friends. Thank you very much for your company once more. <laughs> I will try and do better next week. <laughs> he wasn't missed by the baddies. No, they got him completely. Ah, uh, dear. <laughs> right, that's enough. If you weren't such a lousy shot, I might still have a wingman. <laughs> Take care, my friends. I will see you back on Monday for 8 o'clock for more sci-fi chat. Uh, back on Thursday for No Man's Sky. And um, again, next Saturday for more retro punishment. <laughs> Take care, my friends. See you soon.